What's up, Libra? It's your girl, Sid from Savvy Sentian, and welcome to your February 2022 love reading. All the important information that you need to know is right down in the description box, as always. And if you would like to win a free reading, please make sure that you interact with the content, like, share, subscribe, leave some comments. That is how I choose the winners, okay? So let's go ahead and get on into your reading. All right, what is the overall energy here for Libra? Overall energy of this reading for Libra in love. I've seen both the death card and the full card, so an ending bringing about a new beginning is a possibility here. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands is a card of rapid progress, rapid communication. You may be receiving communication via text message, email, um, DMs, <laughs> um, but quick communication, all right? Maybe a beeper if you have a beeper. I don't know your life or if you're stuck in the 90s. All right, so let's get a love oracle for you. And it says, look inside yourself. Examine what's causing you to feel this way. Some of you all may be dealing with the Capricorn. They got the same energy as well. So rapid progress, communication coming in, travel, um, and wondering what's making you feel the way you feel. Let's get some Island Time Wellness Oracles for you. Mm. Okay. One more, please. Okay, I said one more. Thank you. All right, so we have the Karma Partnership card coming out first. This is this fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Karmic partnerships are a part of your life to teach you a lesson. They are never meant to be held on to. You're supposed to learn from them and move on. All right. We have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise initi uh, in initiation. Invitation or meeting and hesitation. All right. So you may have ended things with a karmic partner. And this is inviting in the energy of someone new. And then we have girl talk, time with your friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment and having fun, okay? So you may be having a little girl uh, little girl talk, having fun with your friends uh, or your bros, you know, whatever. Um, you may talk about this karmic partnership, the things that have taken place in it as you wait for new love or, you know, just enjoy your life until new love comes along. So let's see what this was about, though. If this is about a past person, okay? What was happening in that connection? How does this person feel about you in the connection? How do you feel about this person in the connection? What's the mutual energy and advice? Okay. Yeah, you're definitely about to receive some type of communication. We have three eights already on this table. So 888 is significant. All right. This is how you feel. Mm. How do you feel? Hmm. And the mutual energy. Libra, Libra, Libra. Let's talk. Because how you are presenting to your friends and them may not be the way you truly feel. So on the person side that you're dealing with, we have the Queen of Wands with the Eight of Swords. This person feels very passionate about you. They find you very attractive, very sexy, very charismatic, all right? They see the power in you. However, they are trapped in a mental prison. They feel stuck here. I feel like they obsess over you, Libra. With these two cards together, I feel like they can't escape you. Like they're drawn to you and they like ruminate and think about you. Um, 
We have the Eight of Wands showing up again. So you're definitely about to receive some communication from this person about how things didn't work out with this Ten of Cups in reverse. I feel like they believe that you're a soulmate to them. Again, they're karmic. But they can't get over the ending. They refuse to believe in this ending. And they obsess and ruminate about you. They think about you all the time. On your side, Libra, we have the Seven of Cups with the Eight of Cups, so that would be progress. However, the Eight of Cups is in the reverse. So you as well are struggling with moving away from this um, emotionally, okay? The Seven of Cups energy is a card of options, choices, uh, being in a state of illusion, okay? Um... This energy is also, like, even though you have these seven cups, not every single cup is filled with something delicious. Some of those cups are filled with poison. So, yeah, you have options, but depending on what you choose, you could cause yourself um, an extreme amount of detriment, okay? So, this is needing to choose wisely. And I kind of feel like you should be asking yourself if you're making the right choice and entertaining any thoughts of, you know, hanging on to this. The Ten of Wands is here with the Judgment card. The Ten of Wands in the reverse is indicating that you're laying down your burdens. I feel like since this person has separated from your life, your life has been a bit easier, okay? And that is the wake-up call that the Judgment card is trying to let you see the judgment card is telling you life has been a breeze since this person has been gone you've been feeling like uh, the world has been lifted off of your shoulders so question why are you struggling to let go why are you considering um, them as an option at all let's clarify the seven and the eight of cups King of Swords, Truth, Justice, Intellect. Clarify further. You're conflicted. Five of Wands, and you're trying to cut through the truth. You are still confused. You're still confused. I feel like you think or at least you're telling yourself, or maybe you are having communication from this person that is telling you, like, things were not as bad as they were. Uh, those little fights that we had, they were just little, you know, little arguments. They weren't that deep. And I feel like this is you, this king of swords, Libra energy, swords energy, in the midst of all the confusion, like, sitting in the center of all the confusion. I got all these cups. Should I choose a cup? I'm still kind of emotionally invested. Oh, there's so much conflict. Yeah, maybe the fights weren't that bad. Uh, what's the truth? What's the truth? What's the truth? What's the truth? The truth is right here. This Ten of Wands and a Judgment card. The truth is, once you remove this person from your life, you could finally breathe again. So why are you so confused? Judgment is telling you everything you need to know. This is a judgment. This is a wake-up call, okay? The mutual energy here. <laughs> Look at the bottom of the deck. Just indecision. The, the mutual energy here is the tower in the reverse and the magician. Both of you all are trying to manifest the tower being built back up, putting the tower back where it was before it all went to shit, okay? Both of you all are trying to bring that back. The issue with this is you all were not good for each other. You all were karmic partners. You all were supposed to learn from each other and move on. And now you're both still stuck.
All right, Monology, what messages do we have for Libra? Messages for Libra. Some of you all feel like by bringing this thing back, um, reviving this thing, the judgment is also part of revival, that it would make things easier for you. Nothing yet is set in stone. We have the mutable moon card. If you don't like the way things are, you can definitely change them because the cement is not dry and nothing yet is set in stone. All right. So no judgment, y'all. But if you all feel like you want to go back into this cycle, you may very well need to. And I'm saying that because, like I said before, these connections are supposed to be something that you learn from. And if both of you all are trying to come back together, then perhaps the lesson was not learned. So maybe y'all need to come back together so y'all can learn the lesson. Okay, the next one is the Expect Powerful Change card. And I'm actually going to read that one to you all from the book. This is the New Moon Eclipse. Okay, the New Moon Eclipse. So, New Moons are times of um, setting intentions. Okay, new beginnings. Uh, however, when something eclipses, the new moon, it blacks out the, like what you can see. It blacks out the beginning. It makes your vision not so clear. Okay. So for some of you, I feel like this is something that sounds good in theory. And then as soon as you actually make that move to put it into play, you're going to realize that maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Okay. But I'm going to just read from the book what this card can mean for you. All right. This card says, if you want an affirmation that you can achieve your dreams and get the desired outcome in a situation you're asking about, then this is it. This is a card of beginnings and there are powerful energies at work, but be prepared it could be quite a ride, and the events now could be jarring and uncomfortable. However, any new directions you will almost always, any new directions you take will almost always lead to somewhere better than where you are at the moment. Whatever is happening right now is happening for a reason that you will appreciate later on. A new portal is opening up, and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it. You're being put back on the right track. There's nothing to fear. Attunement to the moon. Never mind the past. Life evolves every single day. Additional meanings for this card. Yes, yes, and a thousand times yes. You're being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. And this is an important turning point in your life. The teaching. The new moon eclipses are among the most exciting astrological events. They herald a complete change of pace. It's as though you're being headed in one direction, though you're headed in one direction, probably being guided by your ego. And then here comes the divine, the goddess or spirit to turn you instead to face the direction you actually need to go, regardless of, what, of whether or not there's a new moon happening when you pull this card. It's a powerful reminder, powerful affirmation of positive turnarounds. All right. So with that being said, um, like I said, if you want to go ahead and try this thing out, go for it. Because that means that you probably didn't learn what you were supposed to learn in the first place, which is why you're still considering this. However, with the Expect Powerful Change card, please know that once you enter back into the cycle, the universe is going to come and fuck some shit up, all right? They're going to shake something up as soon as you get back into this, all right? So this may not be, um, like I said, the best idea, but if you haven't learned what you need to learn, then go ahead and get, get into it. <laughs> but the universe is going to um, get you back on the right track one way or another, Libra. 
So um, good luck and Godspeed. All right, let's get some advice for you. What is the advice for Libra? What is the advice for Libra? So we have all pinnacles. The uh, nine of pinnacles is here in the reverse, which means um, codependency, a lack of independence. We have the four of pinnacles in the reverse, which also uh, uh, represents giving in, and the five of pinnacles, which is lack insecurity i'm feeling like the reason why you are um even considering this giving to this is because you're codependent on them or they're codependent on you and you feel a sense of lack without them That needs to change. You gotta learn how to stand on your own two feet, Libra. And I feel like this is um, emotionally, I don't feel like this person is like caking you and taking care of your life or nothing like that. I feel like this is, this is emotional um, codependence. You're dependent on them emotionally and without them in your life, you feel like you just can't. <laughs> I just can't. But you can, though. And you need to understand that you can. That you don't need anyone outside of yourself. That anyone outside of yourself should be an addition, a supplement to your life. Not something that you need in order to um, live life, okay? So your advice is to fix this lack mentality and stop giving into it. Stop giving into codependency and stop giving into your this lack mindset you have because you are more powerful than that. And you are stronger than that. You don't need anyone. You should only want them because they supplement your life. Okay? So, um just like your love oracle said, you need to examine why you feel this way. Why you feel like you can't just be single or, you know, why this specific person needs to be your person when it already has shown not to be able to work out, um, when it's already shown that it's something karmic. Okay. These are the, the questions you need to ask yourself. All right. Um, so Libra. This is your reading. If this resonates for you, please let me know how in the comments below. Please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe. And until the very next time I read for you all, I wish you all of the might and everything right. And I'll see you in the next reading.